What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on a brief review on the Predator Revo 12.4 with the white bolt plate. I ordered the Revo 12.4 with the white bolt plate from Sabres and I want to know is it really worth it because this white bolt plate is very slim and I want to know if you're able to see it in the shooting position. I made it the Revo with my Q and let's go ahead and check this out. As you can see from a distance we're able to see the white bolt plate so you can line up to your shot but when we go to our shooting position, on a down position, can you really see the white bolt plate? From the down position, as you notice, the white bolt plate is very difficult to see. But the biggest thing about it, it makes you focus on your shaft and on the cue ball to exactly know where you're actually going to hit on the cue ball itself. Now we're going to go ahead and compare the black bolt plate to the white bolt plate. As you can see, this one is the black bolt plate. And of course, this is the white bolt plate. You can see that the bolt plates are pretty much the same length and the same thickness, but is it really worth actually getting the white bolt plate? I decided to get the Revo with the white bolt plate because my original Revo with the black bolt plate, to me, it felt a little bit heavy. As you can see, this is my Revo with the black bolt plate. It weighs 3.95, normally around four ounces. But when we get the white bolt plate, I requested Saber to give me the lightest one and they sent me one with the 3.85, 3.90 ounces. I also got the Revo white bolt plate with the Kamuvi clear hard tip. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how it looks. We're going to do an up and down hit to see how the Revo sounds with the white bolt plate. For some reason, it doesn't sound like the original Revo. It doesn't have that distinct ding sound. It sounds a little bit better. Now let's go ahead and test out the deflection with the Revo with the white bolt plate. We're gonna do a soft hit with a right spin and see how that deflects. Now let's go ahead and try it with the medium. Also with a right, right spin. And let's try it with a faster hit. So the deflection is not bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another deflection test with um, a hard hit, put the cue ball on the rail itself and see how far it deflects. For this deflection test, what I got is a cue ball against the long rail, two diamonds up, and I'm gonna hit it with right, right spin with a firm hit and try to get the cue ball into the pocket. This one's just gonna be a regular stop shot so we can see how it sounds when it hits. This one's gonna be a drop shot so we can check out the repo. This one's going to be a force bottle, and let's see how this one looks. Is the Revo with the white bolt plate really worth it? To me, I think it was because I really had to focus on where the white strip is, and it helps me focus more on the cue ball and exactly where I want to strike the cue ball. Hopefully, this video was informative. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>